Good afternoon everybody. It is Saturday the 25th of November 2023. The temperature has dropped, it is freezing cold, the big coat is back out and we're just approaching Deep Bell ready for this afternoon's game. It's Preston North End against Cardiff City and this is Match Day Vlogs. Welcome back to Match Day Vlogs, everyone back here in detail for this afternoon's game. So North End head into today's game, sat comfortably fifth in the league. Uh, we're four points behind third place Leeds, we're 11 points behind second place Ipswich and Leeds Leicester. Uh, it's quite a gap, but you know it's football. Anything can happen over the course of a 46 game season. Um, our visitors Cardiff, they're currently sat in ninth, just four points behind us. So they're having a reasonable season themselves. So I guess we'll see what happens this afternoon. Probably the biggest news from a North End squad perspective, Chad Evans starts and I am so excited. We're playing two out and out strikers up front. It's going to be a really good game. Kean Best keeps his place in defence after a wonderful international break where he scored on his debut for England under 19s and assisted as well. So there's a lot to be positive about right now. And yeah, we'll see what how this game goes. Fingers crossed for a North End win. Oh, 
I'm getting sure you've informed that, lad. Free kick to North End in a promising position. Ben Wyman and Kean Best stood over this. I would, I would particularly favour the right foot of Ben Wyman for this one. Left footage. You reckon Bestie's going to take it? Maybe 50-50 chance, have we? Yeah, you're right, Bestie's took it. And it's gone nowhere. I think we should have had Ben's foot on that. Come on, Bestie! Yes.
the ball. He's clean through. Absolutely beautiful strike into the far corner of the net. Absolutely beautiful. Listen to that. Injured all the time. There's nothing fucking wrong with him. 
The referee's been shit, Cardiff for a bunch of treats, and Molly Brady, I don't want to ever see him play for Preston Northern ever again. Right, I've just got home and I'm, I'm going to keep this brief because I'm angry. And when I'm angry and when I'm tired, I get emotional very, very quickly, so I'm going to keep this brief. Brady's cost us that game. Short and simple answer, Brady has cost us that game. We were cruising. We were 1-0 up. As my just scored a brilliant goal, everything was going great. And then Brady gets himself involved in something he has no right getting himself involved in, gets himself sent off, and that changes the fucking game. Suddenly, 10 against 11. We're having to play behind the ball instead of on the front foot. Cardiff threw the kitchen sink at us and eventually it paid off. Twice. I'm devastated we lost the game. Yes, the officials were terrible as well. The referee, that's one of the worst referees I've ever seen. Because let's face it, Cardiff should have been down to 10 men in the first half. So they do take some of the blame. But if Brady hadn't got himself sent off, we would have won that game comfortably. And he needs to apologise, not just to the, the staff and his teammates. He needs to apologise to the fans as well. Because he has cost us that game today. 100%. At least he won't be playing on Tuesday, that's something to think about, I suppose. Tuesday we were away at a Middlesbrough side who also lost today. Um, so, going into that one, anyway, anyway they, they were 10th before start play today, so anybody could, uh, anything could happen in that one. But, yeah, no, terrible, terrible result today. We should not have lost, we should not have lost. One player's bad decision, terrible officiating, sums it up, absolutely sums it up. I didn't agree with the change of... Miller for Osmajic. Miller's not number one. Miller's not an out-and-out -out striker. You've got other strikers on the bench. Will Keane, Leighton Stewart. Put one of them on if you're going to take Osmajic off. But I did. Osmajic shouldn't have been taken off. I mean, yeah. So he played during the international break. So maybe that was why he got taken off. But at least to at least make a like-for-like -like change that didn't help. And then Miller seemed to get injured or something and just couldn't run. And well, it cost us, didn't it? Shocking. Absolutely shocking. And. It, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm really not happy. You better sort it out before not before Tuesday North End. And again on Friday night. Talking of next episode will be on Friday night. Um, we've, we're we're at home to Queens Park Rangers on Friday night, eight o'clock kick off. We've got the Friday game this week, this next next week. So if we can't beat them, then we are in trouble. But we should we should on paper we should beat QPR comfortably. I think they're still managerless. Somehow we hold on to our place at fifth in the table. I don't understand how. But, yeah, we're still fifth, so small consolation. But, yeah, um, I, I do apologise for the lack of uploads recently. I am working a ridiculous amount of hours. Um, I'm literally working six days a week, and I've done back to, there was two days this week where I did back-to-back 13-hour -back shifts, so I have just not had time. Um, I have got the laptop open already, um, so I am going to... And oh, that's just gone out of focus. There we go. Um, so I am going to um, get... Um, this vlog up. I've still got the commentary one to do, but that's half done. So between tonight and tomorrow morning, um, I will have both of the vlogs done and uploaded. Um, you can hold me to it if I don't. But as I'm saying this right now, on the evening of Saturday the 25th, this vlog will be up on Saturday, on Sunday the 26th. Really not happy with that result today. Shouldn't have lost. Shouldn't have lost. Right. That's it. I'm done. Done for today. Follow me on socials, Twitter, Instagram, and this is neat. I suppose at some point I should start calling it X, shouldn't I? But it's just, it's just Twitter, it's easier to say, isn't it? So yeah, Twitter, Instagram, this is neat, and um, drop us a like, drop us a sub. Um, and all I have to say is thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.